Shalom Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles, elders of great millstone. Shalom to the like men doing this work, truth and in sincerity, in truth and in sincerity. Um, just gonna go in real quick until, you know, you don't have anything else to, you know, read or do a video on. Do something about the kingdom, man. You know, do something about the kingdom, man. I got this from actually a brother in the camp. You know, because, you know, right now, we, we at the end, man. We at the end. You know, we got the, you got the chip coming out. You know what I'm saying? All these nations coming up against um, um, America. You know what I'm saying? Russia being one of the main ones. And the scriptures speak of, and I believe it's Ezekiel the 37th or the 38th chapter, how Russia is basically going to, you know, help these other nations out and, and um, nuke in America. So, um, like I said, yeah, man, we at the end. And, you know, the reason I said that is because Satan, you know what I'm saying? Satan's going to work harder at this point. And he's going to, you know, basically put stumbling blocks in front of your way, man. You know, but, you know, you can't think of anything else, man. You can't think nothing to read or, or nothing to speak about. Just speak about the kingdom, man. You know? Because it's all, you know what I'm saying, helpful for us to get out of here, man. Um, this is, uh, Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because Yahweh have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. So our job is still a push, no matter how we feeling. Alright, to preach the good word, to preach Yahweh shot. You know, so like I said, anything else, man, you preach the kingdom, man. The kingdom is life, you know. Like I said, you, you know, you may get caught up. You got to work or pay bills and shit. And this life could get, you know, real hectic for you. You know, but thinking about the kingdom, you know what I'm saying? Keep your faith strong. You know what I'm saying? Keeping your spirit up. Keeping your confidence up. And that's another thing. We got to keep our confidence up, man, in the Lord. And the fact that we, you know what I'm saying? We doing all we can. The Lord not going to forget our works, man. He going to bless us with that crown of righteousness. All right? He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. All right, who is the captives, man? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. The elect of those people. Well, well, really, those people, man. To bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the openings of the prison to them that are bound. Now, aren't our people are bound? Well, you bound by bills. You know what I'm saying? You bound by the system. You know what I'm saying? You run a red light, you bound by a ticket, you know, that's 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 bound, man. You in that pit. You know, so basically our job is to uh, you know what I'm saying, bring you uh um the word of salvation, the word of Yahweh Shah. Alright. To proclaim liberty to the captives, man. You know, tell them that the you know, tell tell you that the Lord is gonna come back and this is not it, man. Contrary to popular belief, this is not the, the the kingdom of the Heavenly Father. You know? That we, being on the bottom, we're going to be on the top, man. And the ones that's on top, you know, the so-called white men being the most, uh, the one on the tippy top. And even these other nations, they all going to go into slavery, man. To proclaim the acceptable year of Yahweh and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. And we mourn like crazy, man. All right? We mourn like crazy, man. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You could just be in the supermarket or, you know, on your everyday. You just fucking piss. You just look sad and or angry, man. Or a little bit of both, man. You know? Because we're tired of waking up to slavery, man. We're tired of waking up to what seems like a never-ending uh, battle. But it is ending. That's the point. Verse 3, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning. Like I said, man, we mourn like crazy, man. You turn in the news, you're mourning, man. You go outside, breathe chemtrails, you're mourning. You take a shower, you're mourning. You eat fucked up food, you're mourning. You see a woman, you're mourning. You see a kid, man, you're mourning, because you know what well, East... You know, Esau's indoctrinating your kid, man. So on and so forth, man. 
and to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes. All right, and and and, and our people, um, in the scriptures, you know, when we mourn, we will put ashes upon our head. So the Most High, like He's saying, he, He's gonna uh, flip that around. So the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praises for the spirit of heaviness, that he might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of Yahweh, that he might be glorified. You know? Let me read that again. So appoint to them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of Yahweh, that he might be glorified. So that's what it is, man. Our job now was to catch that hell, to deal with what we got to deal with, so that we can, you know what I'm saying, um, eventually, um, praise, you know what I'm saying, get 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 the uh, kingdom, man. You know what I'm saying? Because in the kingdom, man, every... Everybody's going to bow down to you. How about Shimei Yahweh The scriptures say that, man. That the forces of the Gentiles are going to be converted into us, man. It speaks about how the gates um, in the kingdom is going to be open continually. You know? And it says that they might be called trees of righteousness. So everybody's going to be um, looking up to us as their gods, man. You know? And ultimately, Yahweh Shai. The planting of Yahweh that he might be glorified. You know? Let's get to... Verse 9. And there... Locky, how the freaking bug him. Fucking Satan. Verse 9 And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them, that they are the seed which Yahweh hath blessed. I will greatly rejoice in Yahweh. My soul shall be joyful in my power. For he hath clothed me with garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments and as a bride adorneth herself with her Jews. <coughs> For as the earth bringeth forth her bud and as the garden causes the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so Yahweh power will cause, will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. That's talking about Israel, you know, because the elect are scattered out throughout all the nations in the earth. You know, um, get another one. Isaiah. So we got to remember, man, just remember, the, can't remember anything, man. Remember the uh, kingdom precepts, man. Remember those kingdom precepts, man. You know, that's definitely helped me. Uh, you know, just as Paul said, you know, I'll fight, not as one that beat up the air. But um, you know, to basically obtain a um a crown incorruptible, man. That's what we fighting for. We're fighting for the kingdom, man. We're fighting You know, for the kingdom, man, for happiness. Ultimately for the Lord, Yahweh Ba Shim Shah to be glorified. You know? And being that we join heirs with Yahweh, I just wrote, written up Romans 8 and 16. So will we be glorified? Um, Sloth here. Trying to find it. Uh, 40. Sloth, y'all again. Okay, 46 and 13. I bring near my righteousness. It shall not be far off. And this is Isaiah 46 and 13. 46 and 12. Hearken unto me, ye stout hearted, that are far from righteousness. 
verse 13. I bring near my righteousness, it shall not be far off, and my salvation shall not tarry. And I will place salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is, is on his way. He's making his return. You know? He's making his return, man. And this hell right now that we're catching is temporal, man. So when Satan get in your head, you know, with those uh, wayward or um, faithless thoughts, you know, because that's, that's what Satan, you know, that's his job. He's an adversary. He's supposed to make it seem like, um... You know what I'm saying? Something that's not real is real. You know, if brothers can understand what I'm saying. You know? But the real thing is that this kingdom is going down. And that our kingdom is soon to come. So with that, you know, I pray Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah bring this place down even quicker, man. And brothers should pray for that as well. And, uh, you know, hope brothers edified. Shalom, Israel.